Hi, it's Judy. Thank you for joining me with another episode of Still Growing. Still <laughs> Today we're talking Dr. Dre and his estranged wife. Now, um, before we get into it, please remember to subscribe, to press the notification button, to like, and most of all, to please make a comment. Talk back to me so that I can understand who are watching my video and what you think, you know. I would really appreciate your help because this is a new channel and I need you in order for me to grow. Okay, thanks so much. Okay, so as I said, we're talking um, Dr. Dre and his estranged wife. Oh my gosh, I'm freezing. Hang on, guys. I am like freezing. It's September here in Toronto and already winter is trying to poke its head out and I'm not thrilled about that, not in the least. But <laughs> as I was saying, we're talking about um, Dr. Dre and Nicole. Now, the latest on their divorce is that she's asking for him to sit for a 21-hour deposition. Now, this divorce is really getting nasty. Now, <laughs> it makes me wonder um, how he's going to do this because to sit for 21 hours to have someone uh, to have lawyers interview you you know skill interviewers interview you how is he possibly gonna um, come through that he would have to be an extremely good liar to be able to get through this 21 hours well perhaps it won't be that much time because I guess his lawyer is gonna rebuttal but um, it's interesting because now she's saying that um, the prenup that they signed, um, that he agreed quite um, recent after signing it, he said he was sorry for forcing her to sign it and so he d um, destroyed it. She's saying that his business dealings, a lot of it are illegal. So she's asking for, asking for $10 million per month for spousal support. 10 million yeah if I had one of those camera that actually could zoom into my face and and zoom back out you could really see my expression of 10 million dollars are you flipping are you flipping kidding me 10 million dollars I could live a lifetime of extraordinary living for 10 million dollars much less she's looking for 10 million per month so <laughs> I guess because he's refusing to come forth and talk about um, the prenup and talk about the um, his financial income, now she's trying to force his hand by you know forcing him to come and, and sit and be an interview for this 21 hours. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't he make? Um, wasn't he a millionaire before he met her? because Dr. Dre been rapping for years and making huge business deals behind the scene. Now I know a lot of people say that, you know, he's he's done a lot of criminal act and you know, um I'd be like who in Hollywood haven't, right? Not that I'm taking up for him because when I read all the things that this woman is asking for, I kind of say, well, you know what? You deserve it. <laughs> Not that she deserve it, but he deserve what he's getting from her. Because, okay, let me speak now to my black girls. Black women, especially Afrocentric black women. Isn't this the same, the same type of men who once they make their millions no longer date black women and isn't he the same type of man who um, think that black women aren't exotic enough for them to date and marry although they're good enough for them before they make their millions to have children with and, and date and abuse excuse me because there you know he a, a few years ago he came out and spoke about the fact that he's really treated women terribly he's abused a lot of women well i guess i shouldn't say mm. yeah 
<laughs> yeah he's he's treated a lot of women terribly and so it's okay this kind of man it's kind of okay white women can have them so um now that i hear that she's trying to take his um take him to the bank i'm kind of like i don't care i don't care because you know what um they don't value us right so and that's why they end up in situations like this so 10 million dollars per month she's asking for she's asking for um a hundred and thirty five thousand for clothes per month for clothes sixty thousand for education and she's fully grown okay she's not going back to school and the children are grown that's another thing why is she asking for so much money when she doesn't have young children the children are fu fully grown if I'm not mistaken one of them is 19 and the other is 21 or 24 something like that but the fact of the matter is they are grown okay they're away at school as far as I know because not too long ago I remember him you know donating you know millions of dollars to a particular university I don't remember exactly which one it was but I remember um, seeing it in the news so, so she's also asking for 900,000 for entertainment <laughs> entertainment what is she going to do per month that's going to cost 900,000 month to month to month what 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 the heck um to think of what she could possibly like if she's living on a yacht but then if she's living on a yacht then she wouldn't be asking for a hundred thousand for mortgage like the mortgage part a hundred thousand dollars per mortgage per month um, for millionaires mm, I can understand that because you know the you upkeep of your home and, and, and paying the mortgage itself and that's a lot of money right so I can understand that but Okay, so um, 135000 for charitable donation. So basically what she's saying is that I want 125000 Yeah, I think the majority of those wealthy people will have gained their wealth not through the straight and narrow path. So, um, you know, whatever really he, he's getting what he deserved really what do you guys think about the fact that she is see, she seems to me as if she's trying to pull a, a Karen because she says unless you come and sit for a deposition for excuse me unless you come and sit for a deposition for 21 hours I will tell all your um, illegal dealings now, doesn't that seems a little like a Karen move? Unless you do what I say, then I'm gonna either get you locked up or and get all your money. But yeah, sometimes we put ourselves in that situation, and I am not crying any tears for him. And I'm sure a lot of people aren't crying any tears for him because he's treated a lot of black women badly, unfairly. Um, and so, um, karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. Yeah, so um, that's my commentary on the situation. Please make your comment. Let me know what you think. And um, hopefully, I will see you next time. Peace and love. Bye.